Hello, uh, my name is Brian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, merge two videos, actually how you can merge multiple videos into one video, and not only just merge the videos, but add background music, but not only just background music, but that background music is going to be copyright free, meaning you can use it on YouTube without any issue. You can use it on your video, in your project, then you monetize your video without getting any corporate issues from anyone. Uh, the corporate music, the corporate free music is made for, <clears throat> for commercial pub, or, um, or, or personal purposes, okay? Yeah, we're going to see it. So uh, on my computer, I have a folder, it's called new folder. It have, it has two free files, it has two videos, which I'm going to use in this project. And it has one audio file, which I'm going to use it as my background music. We're going to use a software, it's called Video Editor. Video Editor comes with Microsoft Office, sorry, it comes with um, Windows, Microsoft Windows operating system. It's free and it won't put any watermark on your project, okay? You can just use it for free. It can, it's free software, there's, not, there's no problem with it. So uh, first thing first, uh, make sure you have uh, some videos that you're going to merge, one or two, or like maybe uh, whatever, 10 or whatever you want to use. Make sure you have them. You can download some corporate free music from YouTube. Okay, I can go to YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, you can maybe just search for corporate free music. Okay, let me just do this chop chop. You can just search corporate free music. Um, actually, it's there a lot, corporate free music. Uh, so there'll be a lot of music. You can look into what works for you. There's a lot actually, and it's cool. So I also uh, shared a video how you can download music from YouTube legally. You can check in one of the, my videos. There's a video discussing how you can download any video, any audio or video from YouTube legally. So uh, assuming you like you have an audio, maybe you have uh, found the audio that you want and then you have downloaded it on your computer. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, you check on my video, one of my videos how to download mp3 mp4 videos or any music onto your computer uh, by using just a website not even an application by using a website so i assume you have uh, those videos you have the audio you go to your microsoft office and then you search for video editor it will come you click on it um you click on new video project, okay? Mine has projects here because I've been uh, busy with it, but yours won't have anything because it, you are new to it. So when you click on uh, new video project, we're going to give our project a name. If you're doing a video maybe for travel, you can name it travel. Uh, so me, I'm going to just name it for, uh, video two, okay? Then I'm going to say, okay. Okay, then I'm going to uh, click on add videos here so that I can match them. Okay, I'm going to click on add from computer. So I'm going to add this first video. I can double click. Uh, you can test what you have added actually. Um, all right, I have it activated. So when it comes here, you can right click and say place in the storyboard. They'll put it here down because this is where you're going to do the magic from, you know. So I can play that video. That's what I've added, just a preview. So let me add another one which I want to match. I can click on add from this PC. Then the second one is there. When you add a second one, uh, the second region is shy. 
just have to slide down, you'll see the second one from here. So when you have the third one, you just have to scroll further down. So the second video, let me right click on it, press in the storyboard, it comes here. I can check it out, the preview, it looks fine, okay? So for those who just want to match them into uh, one, on this level, you can just click on finish. It will do for you the magic. It will just combine these videos into one video. But if you want to add another thing like background music, that's where you're going to use this guy here. Okay, background music. Now, when you go for background music, uh, this option gives you music which is within the Windows uh, system, you know. Remember, you want to use the video which we downloaded. You want to use your exact video. So this section, we're going to uh, move away from it. Then we're going to go to where we can see the audio. You can maximize this window to see the option for custom audio. Or if you, if you haven't maximized your window, you can go to this free, dig, free, this free dots where this, there's a menu click on it then you click on custom audio all right so if you're in a full view let me go to the full view you can just easily see it from here but if your window is only in full view you may not realize it's actually option for custom audio so okay so <clears throat> we're going to click on custom audio when you click on custom audio most mistakes people do is to just add the audio from here, but you're supposed to first uh, move this video from where it started by moving this cursor. Do you see where this cursor is? There's a sick pointer. <clears throat> you can move this and up to the start of the video. If you leave it, if you leave the pointer here where we are, it means the audio is going to start from the middle of the video. So you have to move this pointer to the beginning of the video, all right? Then when this video is at the beginning of your video, that's when you click on add the audio file. So when I click on add the audio file, okay, my work is on the desktop, new folder, then I'm going to browse this audio. I can double click or I can just click on open. All right, it will come. So I can try to test out what I put. Okay, uh, for just uh, 10 minutes, actually, you can check it out. Let me just click play. Yeah. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. All right, so that is my video. So that's how you can match videos in the Porter background music. And uh, you realize this video doesn't have any problem with copyright issues because the music is copyright free. Otherwise, if you use someone's music, which is copyright, that video will be pulled down. Or if it's left to run, any advert that you make, that money will go to the person who has the copyright. So if you like doing the work for someone else. So make sure that you get copyright free music. So um, you realize also the music, the background music may be loud. Remember this video may be like, it's a real video, people are talking also, but also now you're adding a background music, it's also loud. So you can, there's a way you can reduce the background music so that you can so so, so, you, so that you don't have overlapping sounds from the video itself and the background music sometimes actually you may be the one you want to talk and you want some background music but at the low volume so on the right side you go to where you have the audio which you added then you click on the volume icon this then you try to reduce the volume maybe let me reduce it to 50 two let me play again and see oh sorry let me pray at the beginning let me pray so you realize the volume is a bit uh down 
is a bit low. You can still reduce it further if you want. Maybe let me put it at 20. Okay. Now you like there's some music I can talk, but the music is low. Maybe I can put it at 35. Okay. So yeah. So let me just pause. So that's how you put the music. So when you're done with that, you can click on done. Yeah, there is option for done. So you just click on done. So after that, you can maybe let me just preview my final project. Uh, I think I can first go to my storyboard here below. I click on the first video. So let me just check out my final video before I do finish, okay? If you don't have time, you can just click on finish. It's already done. Let me just test mine so I can click on play. Okay, now you realize the video is playing, but also the background music is a bit yeah. at a low volume. So it means my voice is not silenced, but also the background music is in a video. And the video is combined into one video. So that is work done, and that's how you do it. Please, if you appreciate this video, take time and give me a subscription on my YouTube. I have a lot which is coming up. Thank you, and you can leave me some comments below for the challenge that you're getting. Uh, maybe something hasn't worked out. Uh, maybe uh, you want to uh, a, web, uh, a link to uh, free copyright music. Uh, I can try to help you out. Okay. Thank you and bye bye.